Hi, my name is Ricky Shannon, Application Engineer for Trimex 3D Printing Team. Today, I want to show you some tips and tricks that allow you to use GrabCAD Print to modify sizes of holes for different pieces of hardware or simply to modify fit. A few months ago, I produced this video tech tip that talked about putting heat set insert into 3D printed parts. And this video ended up generating a few questions about what size hole I should put in order to do a heat set insert. Now, it's a difficult question for me to answer because every manufacturer of heat set insert has different diameters. So it's a little hard for me to just tell you what to do on that. You're really going to have to do a little research on who made the heat set insert or simply measure the heat set you had with a pair of calipers. Now, when it comes to actually making sure your hole is correct in your model, uh, we have a few things we could do. One, we could obviously go back to our original CAD and make any edits we need to do there. But if we're using GrabCAD print, there's actually a much easier process that we can do. So what we can actually do is edit specific pieces of geometry. However, we need to be working with a solid file, being a solid part. Uh, from you say a SOLIDWORKS or other pieces of uh, native CAD or even something generic like a STEP file. The important thing is that we can't do this with an STL file. We really need a solid body file. So I brought in a fixture. It's a SOLIDWORKS file. And I'll notice that, you know, when I click on the part, the entire part highlights. And this is what we would normally do, in which we could set whatever type of infill style we'll want. In this case, I'll just leave it as sparse double dense. But we actually have this other tab that's often overlooked that says face. And what this allows us to do is actually click on faces of a part and we can actually apply changes to those faces. Now, right now, I'm just worried about these holes. So I'm going to click on one of these cylindrical holes. And when I do this, we see it knows that it's a cylinder and actually tells us that it's 420 thousandths of an inch uh, in diameter. And we do have some options down here. And we're going to explore the first one today. If I click this Apply Insert, we actually have the ability to change what size insert we're going to put in here. We'll notice as soon as we click on this, our geometry turns orange and it says it's out of date. That's perfectly normal. And I'll show you how we work around that here in a minute. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to look at Heat Set Inserts. And we can go to our standard. And we're going to work within metric today since I was going to use metric hardware on this project. And while this is designed for a particular M8 insert, let's say we want to put a M5 in here. We will notice that we have two. We've got a short and a long option for most of these. Uh, currently, this does not alter the depth of your hole, so that is something to keep in mind. I have adequate space here on this counter bore for a majority of these inserts, so I'm not going to worry about that, but it is something to be uh, aware of. We'll also notice that we have two different uh, measurements down here. We have a small graphic. So size A is actually now going to be the hole diameter and B is going to be the wall diameter around that, meaning it's going to add an extra layer of solid material around the perimeter of that hole that is this thick. So if I'm happy with my selection here of an M5, I can actually now go and click this update button. And when I do this, we will see that this hole is going to change its diameter and then turn green. And once it turns green, this notifies me that there's perfect uh, clearances and everything around the geometries of this part in order to accommodate that insert. Now to take a look at what this actually did, we're going to go ahead and we will slice this part. Now that this part is sliced, we can go, I can view, I'll view up to layers. I'll look at this part and we'll pan through it. And what we'll see is that extra material built around that hole. So we could see here that call out for that extra material in that second dimension. We could see that extra material here. So gives you an idea how that works. We can hop back out of this preview. And then what if we want to do if the insert size, though, that we see here does not actually match the manufacturer's call out. For instance, let's say we're going to use a part from, say, McMaster Car, and we want to end up doing a um, M6 here, in which case it's actually calling for a 8 millimeter hole. And let's say the call out here for an insert 
is not actually that size. So if I went to metric here and try to look for a M6 here, and we'll see that this is actually calling out a little over a nine millimeter, but I want an eight millimeter. So all we have to do is click this last button here, which is says custom insert, in which case we could simply type in the size that we want. I'll stay in metric and I could say, I want an eight millimeter hole. And I'll go ahead and leave about five millimeters, which is a good amount on the sides of that hole so that that heat insert has something to bite into. Now, when I click update, we can see that my geometry will change. It turns green and now it's the proper size. Something else we can do is we can actually save this hole, this uh, insert size. We can simply hit save. We could type in uh, whatever name you want. We'll say demo insert. And this is a M6. And hit save. Anytime I make a change, it will ask us to update this. And now we actually have in a drop down, we would have our own presets that we've developed. Something that is also important to note though is we can make something too large, in which case if I were to go and pull this M8, um, I know for a fact this face is 19 millimeters uh, wide. So if we end up adding a uh, six and a half plus a six and a half uh, millimeters on each side, 11, we end up with something close to uh, 22 millimeters wide of material we need here. Once we take this hole and add six and a half millimeters of solid around it, we'll actually see that that exceeds the width of this face and will end up causing an error. So this is something that's important to keep note of that it will turn red and it will basically say that there's not enough space around the part in order to thicken that region. If you run into this, you know, some things that you can do is go back through your custom settings and maybe reduce the amount of extra material added to those. So there are some limitations here. There's also some other things you could do with this because we don't need to necessarily do it just for uh, inserts, we can simply click on a hole size and just enlarge it for the sake of maybe adding more clearance for uh, uh, for other pieces of hardware such to go in. If you have any questions on how to use uh, GrabCAD print or how to use any of your 3D printing equipment, uh, please feel free to reach out to TriMac. Thank you very much and have a great day.